Welcome back to the Sailor Girl Golf Channel, everybody. I'd first like to take the opportunity to thank everyone for joining us on this crazy journey to get better at the game of golf. In today's episode, we've got part two of episode two of my Pursuit of Par series. Uh, it's a very exciting episode, lots of highs, lots of lows, but uh, a lot of great action. Let's get right into it. We're going driver off number 10. Popped it up a little, but it's straight down the middle. Yeah, she'll play. I don't know what I was talking about off the tee with that pop-up comment. That camera got me all discombobulated. Maybe Brandy can edit it out. Because that drive went about 295, and I got 50 yards left to this flag. Sand wedge. Got to go. It's pretty good from here. Probably a little short. We've got seven feet left here for our birdie. Swinging right to left. See what we can do. Hey. After that birdie on number 10, we're going driver off number 11 again. After another great drive down here, even though I missed the fairway by a foot, we've got 35 yards into this flag. I'm going lob wedge. We've got another seven footer here for birdie. Number 12 here plays about 400 yards, but the, uh, the dog leg left and the fairway runs out around the 280, 290 mark. So we're going to take three wood and just try and put one out there and play. Should be perfect. Dang, that was good. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry about the background noise here. We got 111 in. I'm going gap way. What? I don't even know where that went. I shanked it. Well, nothing like a good old shank to bring you back to some humility. I got 50 yards here. Going lob wedge. Pulled it a little, but good on distance. Oh, just short. Taking five iron here on 13. And we got out ahead of it and pushed it right. And short. No surprise that five iron push fade came up a bit short here. I've got gap wedge, seeing if I can chip it close. Good on distance, I just pulled it again. Gotta figure that out. We got a 12 foot tester here for our par. Should slide a little right. Yeah. Yes. Nice 
Great par save there, folks. Number 14 here is the first of three par fives. A drop kick straight down the fairway. I'm just all sorts of clumsy. We've got about 270 left of this flag after that drop kick drive. Not sure it's possible, but we're going to give it a go. Three wood. It's right at it. And 15, 20 yards short. Just chipping one up there with the sand wedge. Woo, I thought that had a chance, folks. Coming up to the green, you see Brandy and I in there tight. And, uh,. That's good by me for the birdie. Nice little birdie there on 14. This is a long par five. We need a good drive here. Cut a little for me. I think it's in the fairway, but it was pretty healy, so probably not a lot of distance out of that one. I've only got 260 left into this green, but unfortunately, my drive's too far left. I gotta take some medicine. There's too many trees. I'm uh, just gonna punch a three iron low, and hopefully, hopefully it runs down there pretty close. Might have a little bit of tree troubles, but it advanced down there nicely. Interesting leave here. I've got this branch, but uh, shouldn't come into play. I'm just going to hit a pitching wedge, keep it low, run one up there. I got 72 yards. Oh, it went right by the hole, folks. Almost went in. Well, that pitcher mudge rolled out a little too far. Left me about, uh, I don't know. I'm going 24. That's my favorite number. So 24 feet here for the birdie. Should fall a little, right? Let's see what we can do. I didn't hit it, folks. Didn't hit it, but we'll take a par. That was only about two and a half feet. I gave it to myself. All right, last par five of the day here, number 16. And we really need a good tee shot. Give ourselves some buffer room. We push that right into the tree. Well, that was a terrible drive, so we're going to play at the wrong hole here. I got five on. Well, I must have caught a flyer from back there, because I think I had about 235, and I, I made it up here greenside. I've got a 54 degree sand wedge, just trying to chip it up close. And it just checked up on me a bit, landed on the upslope. Might have about 10 feet for birdie. A little further than I thought, we've got about 14 feet here. Straight up the hill. Let's give it a good roll. Oh, and it broke on me. Broke right. Lord? We'll take the part. We're right up against the lip here. Very tough bunker, sh bunker shot. At least I'm on the upslope. Just got to pop it straight up. And 
I were on the green putting. Left myself about 12 feet here. And it's a side hill lie here. Should be a big swinger right to left. Really need to save this par. I just hit it through the brake. That's good. One more hole. On the 18th tee here, best shot we got so far at this pursuit of par. 18's a tough hole. Dog leg to the right. It goes down the hill to the left a little and then dog leg hard right. 440 from back here. So good drive is required. Well, folks, we hit it hard, but 100 yards right of where we were aiming. Surprise, surprise, we're out of position here off the tee, but uh, it plays all right. We've got 160 in, downhill playing about 140, I think. And uh, I do believe the line's just kind of straight at that big tree in the distance. I've got nine iron, just punching it. Just breaking slightly to the right. No! Oh, I gave that one away. I gave it away. If you stuck around this far in the video, I just want to thank you, show my appreciation. Thank you very much. Uh, it means a lot to us. And man, that was a real heartbreaker for me. I don't know how you guys felt about it, but uh, to come so close for my first time on video like that and then <laughs> just barely miss, wow, that was tough. Uh, please don't forget to comment, like, like, subscribe, share this video with your friends. It really helps us out. Uh, we're really enjoying this and, and we want to keep it up. Uh, please uh, take a look at the videos here and here and uh, stay tuned for more great action.